so before we start our lecture number 16 that is on speed control of three phase induction motor by variable voltage variable frequency control or v by f control certain thing i want to rectify that in my lecture number 15 that is speed control of three phase induction motor by variable frequency control during the discussion of the car the slip of tongue i have mentioned that when the impedance reduces but voltage remain constant at lower frequency the current reduces so you should rectify that that when impedance reduces for a constant voltage for a lower frequency range the current always increase and that's why the copper loss increase and in our lecture number 14 that is on speed control of three phase induction motor by state or voltage control uh, in the last i have again slip of tongue told that uh, in this way we can control the frequency so we are not controlling the frequency actually we are controlling the speed so it will be we are control the speed so now we proceed into our today's topic today's topic that is v by f control <coughs> of three phase induction motor now when we discussed the v by f control of three phase induction motor we have seen that there are two problem one for lower frequency when the supply voltage is constant then the motor flux density increases causing the core to saturate so the core is saturated i have mentioned it right because we know e1 equals to 4.44 f by ts so 4.44 ts is constant and if we neglect the drop across the stator so supply voltage is almost equals to e1 so it is proportional to 5f so at lower frequency if frequency is reducing so phi will increase because the supply voltage v1 is always constant so if phi increase so there is saturation so which will increase the core loss and another thing is higher frequency that means if this frequency is increases this frequency is increases so flux will reduce so there will be a uh, flux weakening effect which will hamper the developed torque starting torque and maximum tor torque and it will reduce by substanti substantial amount so at higher frequency uh, so that uh, keeping the supply voltage constant the motor torque reduce sharply due to flux weakening effect so these are the two drawback now to overcome or rather to at least reduce this to effect we are using this v by f control so when we only control the speed by variable frequency control that time we have keep the voltage v1 constant now i will change now this v1 in proportion with frequency so the ratio of v by f remain constant now we have seen that in variable frequency control the starting torque is proportional to 1 by f2 now in v by f control what we will do we will keep that v1 by f ratio constant so now the starting torque will be proportional to 1 by f in similar fashion the maximum torque was proportional to 1 by supply frequency square 
in case of variable frequency control now in case of v by f control this is maximum torque equals to some constant k5 into v1 by f square and again this is constant so the maximum torque is constant in v by f method and from here we can say phi equals to 1 by 4.44 ts this is a constant term into v1 by f so again this is constant so flux is also remain constant if i able to keep that v by f ratio constant which was not in the case in case of variable frequency method now as the v by f ratio constant so neither the maximum torque nor the flux neither the maximum torque neither the maximum torque nor the flux is changing although the frequency is changing so as the v by f ratio remain constant this method is called variable voltage variable frequency scheme for speed control of induction motor where frequency and supply voltage both are varied in the same proportion to keep that v by f ratio constant now although although it is possible to change the speed to change the speed in wide range by implementing that variable voltage variable frequency scheme from very low to high speed without sacrificing that developed torque or without causing the saturation because phi remain constant we have seen just few minutes back however there is a practical limit now from this curve we can say that at higher speed at higher speed so this is my base curve now at higher speed that is suppose at nr3 when the speed is beyond the base speed that is in sr is the base speed and in r3 is now the motor speed which is greater than the base speed so now in this case in order to keep in this case in order to keep that v by f ratio constant we have to increase this voltage beyond that rated voltage vr however we cannot increase the voltage beyond the rated voltage otherwise it will hamper the insulation of the machine so in practice this v by f scheme with constant ratio is applicable for speed range lower than base speed so it is applicable for lower than base speed of the motor but for the speed above the base speed the voltage is no longer increased that's why we maintain the voltage vr remain constant in all the higher frequency beyond this base frequency fr f3 f4 f5 all the cases the voltage vr is remain constant because we cannot increase the voltage beyond the rated value so at higher speed thus the ratio of v by f reduce because v is remain vr whereas frequency is going on increasing so v by f is reduced and consequently the motor torque capacity also reduce 
because we have seen whether it is maximum torque or it is starting torque it is, is depends on v by f the ratio in direct proportion so up to that up to this rated speed the motor thus operate at constant torque and variable power zone so up to this means here the motor is operative for this for this car it is operating in constant torque because torque equals to power equals to torque into angular speed so torque equals to power by omega now as the frequency is increasing so power will change because because p by omega equals to torque so power will change but torque will remain constant okay and above the base speed it is the variable torque and constant power zone now here we have shown a set of speed torque curve for three phase induction motor for different supply frequency variation and we kept v by f constant right now when the speed is crossing beyond the base speed the motor torque is reducing so here the torque is this one but as the frequency increasing torque reduces again frequency increases torque reduces again frequency increases torque reduces so at speed ranges lower than the base speed when frequency is varied lower than the base speed when the frequency is varied while keeping the v1 by f ratio constant the starting torque is inversely proportional to the frequency the starting torque is inversely proportional to the frequency so starting torque is inversely proportional to the frequency right so it is found that increase of starting torque with reducing frequency right so if we now look into the graph in this graph we can say that uh, for this case it is below the base curve this for f2 frequency which is below the base curve frvr and you see that as the frequency is reduces from fr to f2 right so the starting torque now is tst so previously it was tstr so the starting torque also increases now if we see in this equation of maximum torque we can see it is constant because k is k5 is constant and this v by f is also we are maintaining constant so the maximum torque will also remain constant constant but in practical we can see that maximum torque is not constant it changes because in the speed range below rated speed means frequency is less that means lower frequency so now we cannot neglect that resistance term we cannot neglect this resistance term yeah so we cannot neglect this r1 term in maximum torque because now frequency is less so x is proportional to f because x is equals to omega l so yeah, as the frequency is reducing so the value of x1 x2 is also reducing so now we cannot say x1 plus x2 is much much greater than this r1 or r1 plus r2 so now this term exists into the equation so the effect of resistance cannot no more neglected in comparison to the reactance that's why so now the denominator term is increasing so 
so the maximum torque at lower frequency also also decreasing that is we have shown in this curve that the frequency is reduces so the maximum torque is also reduces and similar thing happen when the frequency is also increases because we have just mentioned that here we cannot go beyond that rated speed so if we increase going on increasing the frequency so now the v by f ratio is not constant anymore it is reducing and we have seen torque is proportional to this ratio so as this ratio is decreasing so the in the same time starting torque develop torque maximum torque all are reducing so this is all about vvbf scheme of speed control of three phase induction motor in our next class we will discuss about polchelnik method and rotor resistance control of induction motor speed thank you